Hey everyone, I want to show you today how you can quickly build a store with your educational network's website. This is perfect for selling school spirit wear, uniforms, you name it, really anything. Let's say as an example that we do need a new uniform store for Green Tech High School. My first step to add this on is I'm going to go over to the main menu button. From here, I'm going to go to operations. I select stores. I start by pressing the create store button. Our first step essentially is to fill out the details that are needed in this form. In this case, we'll title this here as the 2024-2025 uniform store. Underneath that, we have where we can add a description. This is a great place to share about what you're selling at the store, but also to include some policy information as well. I'll type out, purchase your official green tech uniforms. We could then put in all returns must be made within 14 dates. Perfect. Now, one thing that I do want to make sure to note is that just at the top of the form, you do have where you can choose your merchant account as well. Um, and that's important. You may be setting up a store for, for a specific department. And this way, when the funds are requested to be transferred, it'll go over to the correct bank account. And you'll be able to make that selection just by clicking on this drop down menu. We want to go ahead and leave this as active, but we can always use this to set it so that it's active only over a certain duration. That way, this is only available to students and parents when we choose. Uh, and when we no longer want this to be active, the time that we set for it to deactivate, that will happen automatically. In this case, I do need to set a manager. In this case, I think I'm just going to set myself as the manager here. Perfect. Underneath that, you have some selections to make. We want to ask ourselves, do we want to ask for shipping information? I think that that is never a bad thing to ask for. And if we are going to ship items out, how much should we charge? I think in this case, we'll just set kind of a standard flat fee of maybe $3. I also think that it's never a bad option to allow the item to be picked up at the student's store. So we're going to allow for that to be chosen. Parents can purchase this online. And from here, what will happen is that, that students can go in and then select this from their store. I do want to make sure to ask for their phone number and email just in case we need to ask them anything about their order. And I think something that will be good to have is their student ID. I check this box and I fill in this field and they'll be provided with the text field to type this information in. Perfect. After this, we need to decide what we want to have said at checkout. I'm going to type out something such as, thank you for your purchase. Please direct all questions to the cashiers. I'm going to add a second message, and this is a good place for us to go in and to share once more return policy. Thank you for supporting Green Tech by all returns must be made in 14 days. That looks good. This is all looking pretty good. What I want to do next is I'm going to go in and press save. Perfect. That store has been created successfully. I want to go in now and I want to add our first item. 
I'm going to go in, click on the store. I go in then and press the add button. And to add our first item, I'm simply going in and filling in the fields. I start by typing out the item name. We'll type out uniform polo. Perfect. And I want to add a price. We'll see that this will be about $17. Because this is the first item we're adding to this brand new store, we are going to need to add a category. In this case, I'm just going to type this out as shirts. And we do also have the option to add on a description as well. Uh, we could type in something such as describe the item a little bit, 100% cotton. One thing that is never a bad item to have with any item you're selling is an image. It is a great way to make the item post more visually engaging and in turn can even help you increase sales as well. I'm gonna start by pressing choose files. I find the photo on here that I wanna go with and I wanna use, I see it. I press open. And while that's loading, we can add an option. It's really the option that we want to add on here is going to be size. I click add an option. I type the value out. And what I'll do is I'll type out small. We're adding our different options on. Then we'll type out. Perfect. Otherwise, it looks like this item is all set to go. I go in, press save. Perfect. We've added our uniform polo, but let's add another item. We're gonna add our uniform khakis. I press add item. And like before, we're going in, we're filling out the details. Type out uniform khakis. I'm going in, adding on the price. We'll keep it the same as the polo. And in this case, I want to create a new category and we'll just uh, type this out. Pants. And in this case, we're going to go straight to adding on the sizes. I click add an option. I'll type out size. Type out small. Click at another value, medium. Once again, press another, add another value. Perfect. From here, we can go with, press C. And just like that, everybody, we have created a brand new store. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. I go in, press public URL, and I select view store. And what we get to see everyone is that we have successfully added our store. We see how the description of the store goes right at the top. And we also see how we can have our different categories as well.